assalamu alaikum dear students in today's lecture we will discuss the topics electric potential gradient electric field capacitor and different combination of capacitors the very first topic of today's lecture is electric potential gradient the points required to explain this topic are mentioned here first of all we'll see that what is gradient because you are much familiar with electric potential because you discussed it in our previous lecture first we'll see that what is gradient a uh, variation in any physical quantity with respect to distance is called gradient uh, symbolically gradient is represented by these two symbols and we can use the term delta for both these symbols examples of gradient are energy gradient pressure gradient velocity gradient and potential gradient <laughs> energy gradient means changes in energy with respect to distance pressure gradient mean um, changes variation in pressure with respect to uh, with respect to distance is called pressure gradient similarly here is electric potential gradient uh, it is defined as the rate of change of electric potential del v with respect to displacement del r is known as potential gradient mathematically potential gradient is represented by del v over del r but here i wrote a formula uh, for the relationship between electric field and potential gradient symbol of potential gradient is del v over del r for the explanation of this definition um, i'm moving to this figure here i'm taking a plus q uh, source charge a plus q source charge by taking another test charge plus q not um, considering two points point a and point b point b is within the electric field of the source charge and point a is beyond the electric field of the source charge uh, keep it in your mind the direction of the electric field of the source charge is is in this direction whereas the direction of the displacement or uh, the direction of the movement of this test charge is from this point to that point so you can see it here electric field of source charge and the movement displacement of the test charge both are in opposite direction another important point to be discussed here is as uh, i considered two points point a and point b as point b is near to the source charge so uh, electric potential value at point b is higher than the electric potential value at point a as i mentioned it here uh, potential at point b is greater than potential at point a here this negative sign indicates that direction of electric field and direction of increasing potential both are in opposite direction and you can see it here direction of electric field is in this direction whereas the direction of increasing potential is in this direction um i represented it here direction of electric field is in this direction and direction of increasing potential is in this direction because as we are moving from point a to point b then potential is increasing so um here negative sign indicates that the direction of electric field is opposite to the direction of the increasing potential um uh, next point is unit unit of potential gradient is volt per meter um by using volt per meter another unit can be derived for potential gradient and that is newton per coulomb and i derived it for you uh, guys in the topic of electric field intensity uh, you can see it uh, in that topic a uh, dimension of potential gradient is mlt minus 3 a minus 1 here i am assigning you a task uh, you derive it by yourself and then match your answer with this dimension uh, the next point is nature 
पोटेंशियल ग्रेडियंट इज अ स्केलर क्वांटिटी पोटेंशियल ग्रेडियंट इज अ स्केलर क्वांटिटी ऑल दो दिस पोटेंशियल ग्रेडियंट इज स्ट्रॉन्गली लिंक्ड विद इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड वेयर एज इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज अ वैक्टर फील्ड इज अ वैक्टर क्वांटिटी इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल मे बी पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव इफ वी आर टेकिंग नेगेटिव टेस्ट चार्ज इफ वी आर टेकिंग नेगेटिव टेस्ट चार्ज देन इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल मे बी पॉजिटिव एंड इफ वी आर टेकिंग पॉजिटिव टेस्ट चार्ज देन इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल विल बी नेगेटिव नो हेयर वी विल सी दैट हाउ वी डेराइव दिस मैथमेटिकल फॉर्म हाउ वी डेराइव दिस रिलेशन बिटवीन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंड द पोटेंशियल ग्रेडियंट फॉर दिस वी विल कंसिडर दिस फिगर एज आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड विद यू Uh, we will move this test charge from point A to B. So, uh, being this uh, charge positive, we have to do some external work for the movement, for the displacement of this test charge from point A to point B. So, um, here we are considering the external work done on this test charge is equals to del W is equals to F applied dot delta R. Here, F applied is. the force used for moving this test charge from point a to point b and del r is the displacement of the test charge from point a to point b uh, as work done is the dot product um, as we know that f applied is equals to electrostatic force uh, and uh, applied force and electrostatic force both are equal in magnitude but in opposite in direction so here um i took f applied is equals to minus q not e because electrostatic force is equals to q not e so i used here the value of f applied that is minus q not e uh into delta r um in next step i uh, move this q not from this side of equation to other side of the equation so uh, we get del w over q not is equals to minus e into delta r as uh, we are familiar from our previous topics that del w over q not is equals to del v so here i used uh, instead of this del w over q not i used del v is equals to minus e delta r by uh, replacing or by move, by moving uh, this del r from one side of equation to the other side so we get del v over del r is equals to minus e uh, at last we replaced left hand side with right and right hand side with left so we get e is equals to minus del v over delta r and uh, this equation 1 is our required equation which represents a relationship between electric field and potential gradient so equation 1 is the field of the uh, strength uh, is, is, so equation 1 represents the uh, strength of the field which is equals to the potential gradient uh analogy to gravitational field um here um, we are uh, considering a uh, potential gradient is um, analogous to uh, electric uh, electric field and electric potential gradient is analogous to the gravitational field and gravitational potential gradient because both fields electric field and gravitational field are conservative fields what does conservative field means a uh, conservative field means uh those fields which are uh independent of the path between two points means between two points point a to point b we can we have to move from point a to b we can use any path we can use um uh, we can use uh, for moving from point a to b this path we can use this path we can use this path but the net walk then will be the same